Hello, and for those of you who don't know, Great British Grub is a playlist on the Tony's Comfort Kitchen channel. So, as you've probably already noticed, I'm cooking uh, lamb shanks with butter beans or lima beans, to give them their proper name. Here in the UK, we call them uh, butter beans. Now, I've added one tablespoon of vegetable oil into a casserole dish, and I'm adding two lamb shanks, quite large lamb shanks. And the idea is to brown them all over, all sides and the end too. Add a bit of salt and some freshly crushed black pepper. Like I say, we just want to brown all sides and the ends. So we'll stick them up on their ends. Stand to attention. Just for a few minutes and then continue to cook the sides. When they're done, I am going to add 350 millilitres of red wine. And when that's bubbling away, add three cloves of garlic, one onion sliced up, and yes, five anchovies. Now, if you don't like anchovies, don't worry, because these things will just melt into the sauce. You won't even know they were there, but they will give this a wonderful umami flavour. Then chuck in a few sprigs of rosemary and a bunch of a fresh thyme. Just nestle them all in to the wine. Before adding one litre of either lamb stock or beef stock, if you can't find lamb stock. Put the lid on and let it come up to the boil. And when it's boiling, take the lid off, keep it off, place it in an oven at 150 degrees Celsius, 300 Fahrenheit, for about three hours and keep turning the meat every 45 minutes. While it's doing that, I will take a frying pan, add another tablespoon of vegetable oil, and add a fairly finely chopped up onion. Now I just want to cook the onion down without colouring it too much. Again, add a little bit of salt, not too much, because remember there's some in the, uh, the lamb already. And again, more black pepper. After a minute or so, I'm uh, going to add one clove of garlic, uh, chopped up. Let that cook in for a little while. And then add one 400 gram tin of chopped tomatoes. Mix it up, let that uh, tomato sauce cook in. Just want to cook the rawness out of the tomatoes. I did a few sprigs, uh, small sprigs of rosemary. And then, of course, I add the butter beans. So I've got another 400 gram tin of butter beans. Like I say, their real name is lima beans. Uh, but here in the UK, we call them butter beans. Maybe you do too. And then one large handful of uh, finely chopped fresh parsley. Let that cook in for, for a minute or so. And the beans are done. Then, after three hours, here we have it. This is what the meat should look like. Now, we're not finished with it yet. We, well, we're finished with the meat. We'd put the meat to one side and then we're going to reduce the sauce Take the lamb out and keep it somewhere warm for the time being. Now, first of all, I'm actually going to skim off some of the fat that's floating on the top of the, uh, the sauce because it's, uh, as you know, lamb is quite a fatty meat and it will give off quite a bit of fat. Now 
and off camera I strained the uh, liquor, the cooking liquor, through a fine sieve to get rid of all the bits. And all we need to do now is heat this on a high heat until the liquid has reduced around by about half. That'll just concentrate those wonderful flavours that there already. So, time to dish up. Here we have one amazing lamb shank. Look at that, it just looks delicious. And now it's time to pour that delightful sauce over the, uh, the lamb shank and the beans. Oh, that is just heaven in a bowl. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. And if you did, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. And you will be notified of any videos that I upload in the future. So take care, my friends. Peace, love, and I will see you soon.